After I've had the opportunity to speak to an organization and I'm signing books, I have individual members that have been in the audience tell me, wow, you have just inspired me to take that next step. It's so inspiring to me to think of some of the very bad choices that I've made in my lifetime that does tell my story, that I can be an inspiration to so many people out there because guess what? I've walked in their shoes. Audiences want to see real, and that's what I am. I am real. Why I feel like I am unique and why you want to hear from me is because I am the only person that can tell this story. I love to take risks. In fact, that's what got me to my corner office. Think about it. I was pregnant at 16 years old, had my baby at 17 years old, did not have the opportunity to graduate from high school. Yes, I did get my GED. I had to throw a paper route just to be able to pay for my hospital and my rent and, and everything necessary that it takes just to live. And I always worked eight to five because I wanted to be at home in the evening with my son and uh, be there for him. I would say that the power of no is really what fuels me and I believe my audience is going to leave with the, the idea that, okay, no is not such a bad word. For example, when I decided I was going to write a book, I had to find a literary agent to help back me for this book. The first lady I went to see knew of Lance Armstrong, but I didn't want to tell that story it had been told. I wanted to tell my story. And the first thing out of her mouth was, you don't have a book. And as we do in the South, we pick our purse up, happily walk out the room. Well, that is exactly what fueled me to say, I'm going to write this book. The fear and the hopelessness when Lance was diagnosed with cancer, I've got to tell you, as many battles as I felt like I fought for him, that that was one thing that I couldn't take away from him. So again, the fear and the hopelessness, but really, really, really reaching down deep and finding that something you've got that, that I have been fortunate to have that just helped me pick those bootstraps up and, and just realize we're going to get through this and that we will never, ever give up. Oftentimes I'm asked, how do you raise a superstar, a super athlete? And you know, whenever I had this baby at 16 years old, there was no crystal ball telling me and showing me how to do it. The most important thing is to love and nurture and support and to, to encourage your child to spread their wings, to find something they're passionate about. In Lance's case, he wanted to ride his bike. He didn't want to go to college. And I said, son, follow your heart, follow your dreams. And I was there to support him, to nurture him and encourage him. And I truly believe that is the recipe to success in raising your child. One lady came up to me and she says, you are a force of nurture. So when I heard the force of nurture, I thought, wow, you know, that's pretty cool. Gritty, gutsy, bravada, loving, caring, yeah, yeah. Um, all of the examples that I think fit me to a T, the force of nurture. No beating around the bush about that.